We are now talking about algebraic expressions. An algebraic expression is a mathematical statement with variables, numbers, operations. So numbers, there is a constant and a coefficient. Then there is operations plus, minus, could be division, multiplication. So here is an example uh, of an expression x plus 5y minus 7. What are the building blocks of an algebraic expression? One is a variable. A variable is a symbol that represents the unknown quantity. Right. And uh, a constant is just a freestanding number, just like you see 7 above. And a coefficient is a number that multiplies the variable, just like you see 5 here. This 5 is a coefficient, and this 7 is a constant. Okay? Types of expressions, one is a monomial, that means single term, single term. Uh, it means in a single term, we are talking about 6x, 5x, x squared, that is a single term, because it has multiplied itself, like 6x, it's a product, it's a single thing, it's a sing single entity. And then binomial these are two terms like what we see here 2 plus 3x 6x squared plus five, minus 5 yes thirdly trinomial these are three terms you can see you've got 1 2 3 separated by plus or minus if it's a multiplication or a division, uh, you consider that as a single unit, as a single term. Now we talk about special product formulas, but I know you guys you are more interested in two factorization. We'll get there soon. So as you can see, that a minus b into multiplied by a plus b this is what we get a squared minus b squared right this is it and uh, if you've got a plus b all to the power 2 this is what you get you expand it and you do the distribution the distributive property. This is all about distributive property. This is all the work of a distributive property. All of it. So this is how you expand these product formulas. But your main interest is here. This a squared minus b squared is actually the difference of squares. And this is how you factorize it. A minus B multiplied by A plus B. Here is a perfect square. Here is another perfect square. We also have a difference of cubes. This is what we have. This is just a standard formula, you know. Because you t here you take a cube of A, you get A. You take a cube of B, you get B. You bring back the sign. And then you say A multiplied by A, you, you get A squared. You say A multiplied by B, right? You get AB. And then you say B multiplied by B, you get B squared. Simple and straightforward. Similarly to number five. 